Supposing I go pray for this water, is it possible for it to be purified? That is what I kept telling myself. Now, this is what has been happening since 2003. Now, recently... Thank you, everybody, for joining me for another episode of Almost It Quack Ground, <laughs> the bank series. So this is Rachel Ruta just uh, giving uh, her testimony of what happened. And today we're going to debunk her testimony of whether uh, the, the, there was purification of water or not. But then I might not really give you the hard facts of the thing. But let's look at this testimony from the way she started from uh, uh, giving her a story. And then we'll piece things together and get, get to know exactly what she means by uh, the, the, the testimony. So let's watch it again once again and then we can continue. And say, supposing I go pray for this water, is it possible for it to be purified? That is what I kept telling myself. Guys, my, my Jesus purified, like for real, like for real. You, you, you can you can't make this stuff up <laughs> i'm serious so well this is uh that's just uh, by the way so she talks about uh um the, the 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 supposing if she can pray for the water that has been bothering them in their current home but then there's one thing again she said here that we need to take note of as we continue because uh this is uh something that happened recently but you remember they have had this problem from a very long time ago so listen to how she started her testimony let me give you a testimony that happened to us okay as a family mm. a few about a week ago about a week ago so this is what happened in 2018 so uh let me just continue mm. i was invited to go to speak during international women's day in uh, Etihad, um, Etihad mm -hmm. with the Etihad women, the airline Etihad. Mm -hmm. So they invited me to go speak to their women on International Women's Day. Let me give. So she said, but let me give you a testimony of something that happened a week ago, and this is something that the husband actually confirms in uh, in her speech again. So let's listen to the husband, that is uh, the deputy president. So I forgot to introduce her. She is Mama Rachel. For people who do not know, Mama Rachel is our deputy. Is our is a wife to the deputy president. So if you're watching, wonder like, who does she really matter? Yes, yeah, she's one of our dignitaries. So is the husband again confirming that this act happened one week ago? As you have heard, mm -hmm. I have never had peace. I've never the had last week. I never had the last week because uh, mm -hmm. on on this Friday, mm -hmm. I was uh, as you have heard, had, mm -hmm. I have never had peace. I never the last had. week. Because, because uh, on on this Friday, mm. I was uh, in a bedroom. In our bedroom, and I. So I'll share the link of the video so you can go and watch. It's just a, a, two, a two minute video, two minute thirty seconds video of Ruto, and then the other testimony for Rachel Ruto was about fourteen minutes. Now, this is what happens. So Rachel Ruto says that this happened a week. The husband just comes and confirms the same that happened within. A week ago now there are so many things that were said about her testimony so let's just go a bit about a few things that were said so the standard media had said that uh, uh ruto richard ruto as you can see on your screen uh richard ruto i prayed for dirty borehole water in karen and it was purified and then there's another oh so people even made fun of it uh that uh she's a prayerful woman she prays for everything and, and stuff like that i think people generally don't believe in the power of uh, prayer maybe according to me that's what i'm thinking so the story of salka was there again and then there was uh, this woman winnie odinga who actually challenged her to go and pray for water in nairobi river to be clean like <laughs> that was a good one and then a mother said like why do we need purifying or rather she wants to kill purifying water companies uh, something like that so there are many things but there is something i want us to take note of on, on this uh, first part of her testimony that uh, she had gone to where it is. Let me give you a testimony that happened to mm. us as a family a few about a week ago. At least the husband had confirmed that. So this is that. what happened. In 2018, mm -hmm. I was invited to go to speak 
during International Women's Day in uh, um, Etihad, mm -hmm. with the Etihad women, the airline Etihad. So this is where my 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 piecing things together started from. So she said she had gone to Etihad, that's Abu Dhabi, I guess, UAE, to go and speak to women uh, on International Women's Day. So what I want you to, to take note of is uh, what I'm going to show you. So I've done my research and asked myself when what date was the International Women's Day? So what date was? Uh, yeah, it is uh, twenty in 2018. So it shows that it was a Thursday, 8th March 2018. So this is to show that she first of all went to Etihad in March 2018. And no, that was the International Women's Day first. Then secondly, I tried to find evidence of her being in Etihad. And of course, uh, many you'll find articles or many things that were written. So I found this article. Women encouraged to dream and go for it. This is uh, published by gulfnews.com and you can see uh, this was on uh, 8th March at uh, 5.33 p.m. And as you can see, the dignitaries that were invited, the Shaika, Lubna, I see that those are important, but the key person here is Rachel Ruto, as you can see highlighted on my screen right there. Then that was just one article published by Gulf News. Then the second one was published by um, this is where now this is uh, aviation24.be. Uh, so they highlighted now the Sheikh as the key person here. So it seems Rachel Ruto was overshadowed there. So this article was published again uh, on 8th March, 8th March 2018. So you can see like 8th March 2018 was uh, International Women's Day and now as you can see that the EAG this is the Etihad Aviation Group uh, 2018 women's were there then the key person her excellency Ms. Rachel Ruto was there so the first thing is that she was in Etihad now I know you want me to break down and say that the testimony was not true according to everything that was that has been said here uh, First of all, she was in Etihad, and for you to really pick out a, a scripture and a story and say that you read a Bible in, in, in the plane and you got this one from the Lord, and then she was asking herself whether she's worthy. Let me just get you that part that uh, she said. She was asking the same, that whether she's worthy. That is a uh, minute 8.44 of the video that I'll share with you here. Uh, it's about 14 minutes. So she was asking herself whether she's worthy. That is after after reading the Bible and getting that is Joshua six twenty six and I think Second Kings, uh, what was it? Second Kings two nineteen and I think that was first Kings. Now I kept wondering, am I worthy to do mm. what Elisha did, just to go pray for this water? Mm. But then I kept thinking, maybe I need a pastor, mm. maybe I need a prophet, mm. maybe I need somebody else. Yeah. And the Lord just kept reminding me about that. Mm -hmm. Now. On Wednesday, tell somebody Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Wednesday. The other Wednesday. So she Usually actually Wednesday says is that uh, prayer and fast. she, after reading, she got reminded, and she was thinking like, do I really have the capacity? And these are testimonies she's giving in 2022. That's like three years later, 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's four years. Four years later, she gives a testimony of something she read. Uh, four years later and it comes to pass in this time because she prayed so for me if you ask me is this testimony legit i'll say yes the testimony will be legit because not because of the husband agreeing but that is part of it again because they seem to be speaking the same thing and agreeing like yes this is what happened to our family when a week ago the husband says last week i never had peace i i had no, i had no peace then this one says like uh, a few weeks ago. So it's just like the same the same thing that happened just recently to the family. So do we say that this testimony or rather this miracle happened? In my opinion, it happened. So this is the debunk series episode four and I believe it happened. So I know you're wondering where the debunk uh, episode one. Episode one was removed or rather was taken, was taken down by by youtube because of uh, some copyright infringement issues uh, by one of the guys called nc but well i'm still pursuing to get the video back so 
uh, to confirm to you that water was not good, uh, this is the last thing that I'll play for you uh, from the Deputy President William Ruto. And then Problems she says, with the water. In fact, the water is black. Mm -hmm. But uh, so? a borehole in mm -hmm. our in our residence, private residence, mm -hmm. that has had problems with the water. In mm -hmm. fact, the water is black. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, we have clean water. <laughs> <coughs> that summarizes the testimony. The point is that they are all telling, they are all corroborating. That's the word, right? They are corroborating the story that, yes, this is something that happened. If you want to know now, uh, to have like hard facts, you can say, like, yes, I was in that place. Like in January, they had dirty water in the, in the, in the borehole. And then this week, I went and visited them. They had clean water in their borehole. And those are like hard facts. And I know. I may not have the capacity to get those details, but from my end, I can say this testimony is legit. If you don't trust in the in the in the in the working of miracles, uh, then th there is nothing we can do to you. And the best part about these people, if they are lying, they can actually lie very well because of their eloquence, their confidence, and all that. And it's hard to really get someone who is speaking lies when they speak with confidence. Uh, for the pres deputy president and for even Rachel Ruto who spoke with more eloquence and more warmth and, and, and confidence. It's hard to really debunk them and say like, ah, Apo and I see the dog or no. They are speaking in confidence. Even the Bible talks of, uh, I think it's Peter and John. When people saw them, I think in the, books of Acts, in the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 30 says that when people saw them, when they were speaking and sharing the gospel, when people saw them, they saw like these people had been with Jesus. You cannot speak about Jesus uh, with so much confidence, yet you've never met him. So when people saw their confidence, they say like, these people had been with Jesus, or rather have been with Jesus, and that's why they're speaking with such confidence when they saw their confidence. So, point is, uh, in my opinion, this testimony uh, is legit, in my opinion. And this is the end of the debunk series. Make sure you like, you subscribe. And uh, if anything, you can just put uh, your comment, uh, just interact with the video, that's the key thing. So you can like, you can give a thumbs down, you can subscribe and do anything that you feel like. So thank you for joining me once again and thank you for watching to the end. God bless you and have a good, good day. So for my uh, purified <laughs> juice, I'll just continue taking water. Maybe that's what uh, the only need to take. So have a good night. <coughs> So I am I have a witness. He's a witness. <laughs> I am overwhelmed by the love.